Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you four side dishes using shishito peppers. So I decided to make this because I was able to find shishito peppers in the grocery store, even in Germany. So for those who don't know, shishito peppers are a type of Japanese peppers. They look like these, a little longer and a little thicker than your finger. These are just kind of small peppers compared to like bell peppers. And the flavor is a little bit similar. I think it has more strong flavor, a little more bitterness, and depending on the kind, a little bit more spicier. And therefore, there are a lot of kids who don't like them in Japan. I think it's more for an adult. This is also a very seasonal thing. You almost always only see it in summer. And it's also a very typical thing if you go to yakitori. So depending on where you live, it might be a bit difficult to get all of these. But because this only grows in the summer, this has got a lot of the nutrients that you need to get through this hot summer. It's a Western philosophy that the food that grows in that season contains the nutrients they need for that season. So this is just a great summer vegetable. Today I'm showing four different kinds of side dishes. One seared and marinated, one just simply grilled, just the same way they serve in a yakitori restaurant, and third filled with meat filling, and fourth stir fry with bacon and garlic. They're all very easy and has no special ingredients. So when you can get hold of these shishito peppers, I hope you give this a try yourself. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for four side dishes using shishito peppers. So as I explained in the beginning, these are about the size of shishito peppers. And when you buy them, try to get some fresh ones. So to tell how the fresh they are, you want to look at the stem. So if the stem looks fresh like this, these are fresh. As they get older, then the stem kind of starts shrinking. So like in this in the photo. So you want to try to get avoid those. Even though with the shishito peppers, the flavor doesn't change that much, but it's always better to get fresh ones. And as other ingredients, for the grilled marinated shishito, I have as a topping sesame seeds. And for the grilled shishito, I have ginger for condiments. And filled shishito, I have ground pork meat. You can make it also with beef or chicken. And a stalk of scallion. And then for the stir fry shishito, I have garlic and bacon. You can also make this vegetarian by taking out the bacon. Then I have sesame oil. I prefer using sesame oil, but you can use any other frying oil. And then for the seasoning, I have here rice wine vinegar. If you don't have this, you can use just regular white wine vinegar or apple vinegar instead. And then soy sauce, sugar, and salt and pepper. And then for the meat filling, I'm also going to use a little bit of starch. Then let's prepare the shishito. So for the first dish of grilled marinade shishito, I'm going to use about six or seven shishito. Then I don't really have to do anything, but I'm just going to poke a hole so they don't pop when you fry them. So make sure you do that, otherwise it can smash you and burn you. Then for the grilled shishito, I'm gonna use some skewers and then put them in a skewer. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it just looks nice and it'd be easier to just kind of turn over when you grill them. And also by doing this, you poke a hole so that they don't pop either. So if you're not putting on a skewer like this, make sure you poke a hole like I did with the other ones. So that's that. For the next dish of Phil Shishto, I'm gonna use kind of a bigger ones, a little wider ones. Then we're gonna do is I'm just gonna push this with your thumb like this inside. And then you wanna spin it like this. Then you take it out. And then you take it out on a dish like this or whatever. And then you have a hollow Shishto to fill with meat filling. And so you just kinda like push this in here like this. And then you turn. And just like this. Oops, yeah, that happens. If that happens, don't panic. You just use a small spoon like this and then just take it out. Like that. So that's done for that. And then for the last dish of stir fry shishito, I'm actually going to just kind of cut in half and you can take the inside out like this. And then I'm gonna make a strip like this. This one's smaller, so I'm just half like this in half and then take the inside out. Yeah, just in half like this. And then also just cut in half. Then with that, I'm finished with preparing the shishito peppers. Then as the next thing, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. So as the first thing, I'm gonna grate ginger. Just probably need just like a piece like this. I'm gonna peel off the skin. And then using a grater, I'm gonna grate this. Then that's finished. There's the next thing, I'm gonna cut up the garlic. 
So we'll take the bottom off and then don't cut it all the way so that you can peel off like this. This is a kind of easy way to peel this. Then I'm gonna smash this with the palm of my hand. And I'm gonna cut this into pieces. Just like that. I'm gonna cut up the scallion. I'm gonna kind of make a slit through here. And just also like here. And I'm gonna cut into medium sized pieces like this. And then as the last thing, I'm gonna cut up the bacon. Just in strips like this. Then with that, all the ingredients is prepared. Then as the next thing, we're going to make the sauce for the marinade. So in a pot, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of water, one teaspoon of sugar, and also one teaspoon of vinegar. Then I'm gonna turn the heat to medium and let the sugar dissolve. So you don't really need to bring this to boil. As soon as the sugar is dissolved, this is finished. Turn heat off. Then I'm gonna put it aside as marinate. Then we're gonna put it to the side. Then let's fry the shishito peppers. Then we're gonna fry this in a pot. I personally often use a pot for frying instead of a frying pan because of the depth of the pot, the oil doesn't splash that much and I don't have to clean that much. But either pot or frying pan, whatever you have is fine. Then we're gonna turn the heat to medium. Then here I'm gonna put in some sesame oil or any frying oil you have, just about two teaspoons or so. Then here we're gonna put in the shishito peppers. Then I'm gonna kinda of turn around the shishito peppers and coat it with the oil. We're gonna kinda of turn it around so that it gets cooked evenly. So as you can see, after once it's got cooked all the way around like this, we're gonna turn the heat off. Then here I'm gonna put in the sauce that we just made. Then we're gonna put this in a container with the sauce, of course. And then without, this is pretty much finished. Then we're gonna let it cool and put it in the fridge. You can save this for you know, two, three days or so in the fridge. And you can then you can use this as a side dish. So as the next thing, let's grill the shishito peppers. So if you have a charcoal grill, that would be perfect, that would be better. But we can also just do it with a regular frying pan like this. Then we're gonna turn the heat to medium and heat up the frying pan first. So once the frying pan has been heated, I'm gonna put in the shishito peppers. And then we're gonna put in here about a teaspoon of water on the side. Just like this. Then we're gonna put on the lid. And we're gonna kinda little steam it to speed up the process. So after about uh, two minutes or so of grilling, I'm gonna turn to the other side. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Then we're gonna grill on this side as well. So also after another two minutes or so, let's look at the other side. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Then there's a finish for that. I'm gonna turn it off. Then we're gonna put the gray ginger on the side. Then with that, this is finished. Next, we're gonna make the filled shishito. As the first thing, we're gonna make the meat filling. So I'm gonna put in here first the meat, then I cut up scallion. Then also here, just a bit of ginger. Just kind of give a little, a little bit of a kick to it. And then we're gonna mix this up with your hands. By the way, scallion and ginger have the kind of the effect to kind of get rid of the kind of like the stinkiness or the bloodiness of the meat. Then I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. First, just a pinch of salt, just like that much. Then also the same amount of black pepper. Then here I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of starch. I have here tapioca starch, but whatever starch you have is fine. Potato starch or corn starch. Then we're gonna mix this in. Then that's done for that. Then let's put it in the shishito peppers. Then just gonna stick it in like this with your finger. So this is finished, perfectly done. Then we're gonna fry this. So then using a frying pan, we're gonna turn the heat to medium and heat the frying pan. So once the frying pan's been heated, I'm gonna put in some sesame oil or any frying oil you have. Just about a teaspoon or so. Then we're gonna put in the filled shish dough. Then we're gonna put the lid and grill this for about two minutes or so. So after about two minutes or so, then we're gonna turn to the other side. Oh yeah, this is looking really good. I'm gonna put the lid on again. Then heat this for another two minutes or so. 
So after about another two minutes or so, oh yeah, this is looking good. We're gonna turn to the other side one more time. If it's possible, try to grill the side that hasn't gotten cooked yet. So then this is looking good. So I'm gonna turn the heat to low, and then we're gonna put in the seasoning. And here I'm gonna put in about one tablespoon of sugar, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. So I'm gonna turn the lid on and cook like this, and kind of steam it like this for about a minute or so. So, after another minute, oh yeah, this is looking really good. We're gonna cut up the shish dough with the sauce like this. And then we're gonna turn it off. Then let's put this on a plate. Then we can put in the sauce. Okay, with that, filled shishito peppers is finished. So that's the last thing. Let's make the stir fry shishito peppers. For that, I prefer using a pot like this, but with a frying pan, whatever you have is fine. Then we're gonna turn the heat to medium and heat up the pot. Then here I'm gonna put in some sesame oil or any frying oil you have, just about one or two teaspoon. Then here I'm going to put all the bacon. So once the bacon has been cooked thoroughly, then here we're going to put in the garlic. I'm also going to cook the garlic like this. Make sure it keeps stirring. And after 30 seconds or so, garlic has been cooked as well. Then we're going to put in the cut up shishito peppers. Then we're going to season this with salt and pepper. Just about a pinch or so, just like this. And also a little bit of black pepper. Then stir it just around. Then at the very end, just about a teaspoon of soy sauce. This kind of also helps steam the vegetable. So then after frying for another minute or so, this is finished. I'm going to turn it off. And let's put this on a plate. Then with that, this is finished. And to serve, let's put the marinade in the plate. And then the sauce as well. And then as a condiment, I'm gonna put some roasted sesame seeds on the top. Then with that, this is also finished. Then this is finished for all four dishes. Then let's eat. Oh, these all look so delicious. Let's eat. Okay, then let's start with this marinade. You can eat it with your finger like this, uh, but you don't want to eat this top part. So you want to put it in the mouth like this and take out this bottom part. Mmm, this is really good. This kind of sweet sour soy sauce marinade is just really perfect, especially for this hot summer. It kind of helps you freshen up. Let's have this filled shish dough. Like my ass. Mm. So if you haven't noticed, it's the same thing as the teriyaki sauce. You don't really taste the shish dough that much, but a little bit of a hint of that bitterness to it just kind of makes it fresh. This is just a perfect flavor for the rice. And the stir fry shish dough. Mm. The smokiness and the oiliness of the bacon just goes perfectly with the bitterness of the shish dough peppers. So delicious. So lastly, simply grilled shish dough. This isn't complete without the soy sauce. I'm just gonna distribute the ginger and pour the soy sauce all over. How you want to eat it. It's very similar to the marinade. You don't need the stem part here. So. Mm. Oh, such a perfect dish. So with this, you can really enjoy the flavor of the shish dough. And the sauce on the ginger just kind of bring out the flavor. Really delicious.
Oh, it was so delicious. Go so much stuff. Oh, they were all so savory. So as you saw, making each of these side dishes are not difficult at all. Each probably takes no more than like 15 minutes or so. So I hope you give this a try yourself when you can get hold of Shishito peppers. If you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you could hit the like button for me so this video can be spread to more people. And if you have any requests or any questions or any feedbacks, please feel free to write anything in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.